everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I decided to be different today. So today we're different. Okay, I've got lots and lots and lots of stuff to show you today because this is what I've been doing. First of all, I was watching Carrie. I don't remember her channel name, but her it's Carrie. I'll put it in the description anyways. She was saying that it's National Crochet Day. I didn't know that. But I was crocheting today. I did a lot of crocheting. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I am making and what I have torn apart. <laughs> I've done both. And I will put my other hair on too in the meantime so you'll see that after. But right now I thought I'd just be me. I'm just me. Okay. What I'm doing is I love these, these um, capelets. So I'm making another capelet. Whoops, that's the other side. I'm making one of these, and I'm making that out of out of this material. It's not it's not a cotton, but it's going to be out of this yarn that I'm using. And it's I've only just begun. I've only just begun to this. <laughs> What lies and promises. Okay, I'm doing that. And I'm also, now I usually do only one project at a time, but because I get so excited, I try doing more things than not. So, I'm, and I'm also making one of these little bags. I think these are adorable. These are from Karina Anna also. The capelet is from Karina Anna. And the bag, I think it's adorable. So I'm making that out of that I'm actually making out of cotton. I've got a lot of strings hanging off of me. It's out of this cotton. And this um, this is maybe, it's not real far, but it's getting there. See, I'm getting there. I have, I, because, because I've been doing <laughs> a lot of tear downs. I'll put this back in the box. Um, you remember I did this shawl? This was from Pamela. Adoring crochet. I did a shawl. I did actually three shawls and I decided one is enough So but I really like wearing the capelets. So I decided to do this today I've you want to get me the big balls. I tore this one apart. I Tore this one was part of another one. I tore this apart and I tore, tore, tore this apart. So I've got some nice balls. But these balls, you know, even though they were ball, they were just a project, they were a shawl. I made them so that you can pull. It's a pull skein still. I don't want to pull it out because I'm not ready to use it. But they're pull skeins still. They each have their, their little tail that you pull. And here's another, this one over here. Have a catch. Here, have another. Woo! And this one has a pull skein. Hey, you want to catch him too? You can catch that too. Yay! He's a good catcher. Um, and this one, you can kind of, where did it go, the rest of this one? This one, because, whoa, I'm un unraveling something. Not good. Don't pull that. Whoa! This is what happens Maybe when you it's mess around. Out of here. I hope so. This, was, this one was a ball, but now it's flat. Because it's 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 a pull skein now. Where the heck goes the end? I don't even know. Anyways, that's what I was doing today. Okay, here you want to put my crochet hook onto this one because I want to keep I keep the hooks with the things. Now this is how I store my hair. This is how she's stored. I will put her on and you can see what she looks like. Oh, before I put it on, Gloria wanted to see my new haircut. Oh, this is my haircut. And I'll show you the back. There's the back. And here's the other side of the back. I think you can see me, I hope. Maybe you better turn the thing so you can tell whether I'm too high, too low. Can they see the back? Yeah, I can see it. Okay, and did they see the back over here? Yep. Okay, you saw everything that I see when I look in the mirror. 
Okay, now I will put on the other hair. This just goes on. And I go like this, and like this, and I fuss, I fuss a little bit. I can't really see, but there we are. Looks good. Look all right. Okay, now it's me again. Hi, I'm Nona Grace. That other one was Nona Grace, too. I like the way Blue Biken Doyle does it. He's so darn funny. He will actually have him, both of him. I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. I'll have to do two videos, probably. I think it's how he does it, where he, he does a little video, and he's talking, and he acts like he's talking to himself over there, and I could probably try it. I don't know. And then I watched Liddy MC today, and she was doing a great voiceover. That's another thing that I haven't mastered. There's a lot of things I haven't even tried. Well, I did try the voiceover, but I had to watch the video to try to talk to make it as long as the video was playing. It was when I was doing the plank. But I, I have never done, like, I see them when they're doing the cooking. Well, now I'm pouring in whatever, or I'm now I'm making a, she made a pie. That's what she made. So now I'm adding more crust to it, or I'm doing the weave. And I don't know if they're watching the video when they're doing this or if they are just that good at telling what they're doing. I don't know how they do it. They're probably watching as they I do. I really don't know how they do it. Well, that is, oh, I feel like my, my what, what did I forget? I don't know. Oh, my notebook. I brought the notebook in, too, because I had other stuff I wanted to tell. Okay, today I was, um, I watched Voon Child. She had um, dehydrated Swiss chard. I like Swiss chard. She was saying... Something about the stem that she, I guess she's not crazy about the stem. I don't know if she is or isn't in the leaf. To me, when I when I cook it, it tastes sweet to me. It We, we would um, steam cook it and then put a little bit of olive oil on it and a little bit of salt and just eat it. It's so good. Well, she was dehydrating it. I also um, took Mr. Brown for a walk today. He and I walked the loop of the driveway. I've been, I've been getting my 500 steps. I'm still doing it. Or no, not 500. Oh, my <laughs> stars. 500 is easy. 5,000 steps I've been getting. And I, 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 some nights I'm upstairs and I'm like 400 away. 400 steps away. So what do I do? I walk back and forth in the hallway and I go into one of the bedrooms, swing around and come back. Or if I'm like 600 away... I will come down here into the daycare, what I still call my daycare. It's not really a daycare anymore, but it was a daycare. And I do my figure eight walking, and I get my steps in, and then I'm all done. Or I get on the treadmill, and I walk on there for a while because I can walk real fast, or I sometimes run on it, trying to get those steps. But I like to, I'd rather do it around the driveway. Or I sometimes walk around the chicken fenced area. And the chickens all hide under the tree because they think I'm coming. I don't know what they think I'm doing. But um, And I was also watching Linnea, Linnea, L-I-N-N-E-A, Linnea, the crafting trooper. I was watching her the other day, and she was talking about, I guess somebody was giving her a little difficulty at work, and she had to submit some paper to file a complaint of some sort and they complimented her on how well she carried she handled it which was very professional well I must not have been professional because when I was working at the county home I was the youngest one there I was I was 19 and there was a girl there that was 19 too but she was there longer than me because she was through the BOCES program and her grandfather was there and she just thought she was the best the, she thought she was the cat's meow, as they would say. Well, I was trained by a lady. Marion was my trainer, and she had me. Uh, we on the floor that I was on. I was on two B, which was the most care patients or residents they call them. 
and I was trained on D Hall and I was doing really, really good. And then I went to um, C or A, I don't remember, but I was on B Hall when this was happening. And every time I would make a bed, I'd come by my room and I'd go, gosh, that bed's torn apart. What the heck? And so I would go fix it. Then I'd go down the hallways more and somebody, another bed that I had just made was torn apart. And I'm thinking, gosh, what's going on? And I had to make my bed again. So I um, made the bed. Then I went and asked the two ladies that I was working with. I says, do I make a very bad bed that somebody has to keep taking it apart so I have to redo it? They said, no, they've never seen a bed that was made more like the military where you could almost bounce a dime on it. And my corners were really good because we had flat sheets. You didn't have fitted sheets. And so I thought, okay, I'm doing a good job. These women have been there a long time, and they know. So I was walking back up through the hall, and here I see this girl that was there my age. And I said, don't you touch that bed. And she stopped. And it was like... And I yelled it, though, in the hall. I was in the hallway. She was in the room. And um, everybody's head just popped out of the doors. You know, it's like, it was like a TV show kind of thing where you saw the heads go boing, 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 you know, different heads popping out. And some of the residents popped out to see what the heck's going on. And what it was is I said, don't you touch that bed. And I said, if there's a problem with my bed, go tell Mrs. Rifferjot. That was my, um, that was the the nurse director of nurses. I says, go tell her and let her tell me my beds are bad. Well, that girl never touched another bed. She never told the director of nurses. She just ignored me completely. She was so mad that I had the nerve to, to speak up. It embarrassed her, apparently. And I was the one in the hall, the one that they saw. They didn't even know who I was talking to. But I'm sure it came out later, maybe, who I was talking to. I don't know. But uh, that's how I handled it. I said, don't you touch that bed. <laughs> and so that was my experience when I was 19 years old. Boy, that was a long time ago. <laughs> what? I wish I was 19 now. I would have been, I would, I would now, oh, don't you dare touch that bed. And I think I would have said a little bit more, maybe, at the time, at now, than I would have then. Well, that's the stories of today, and that's my life. And um, I will put the links of the channels that I mentioned. They'll be in the more section so that you can find them if you'd like to find them. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. So take care. Bye-bye.